guys, welcome to my next video. Um, just a quick note, I got some new lighting. It's like these big video lights. Um, let me know if it's okay in my camera. It looks really cool, like there's a blue tint over um, the frame, but let me know if it's better or if I should go back to my old lighting or just let me know. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do a really quick review on these four brushes that I have right here. They are the Sigma um, Kabuki brushes. I think the line is called Sigmax. So I'm just going to let you know some of the pros and cons of these. So yeah, let's get started. So the first one is called the Flat Top Kabuki brush. Looks like this. Just really flat. Um, I use this to stipple on my foundation. One thing I will say about all these brushes is that it's super duper soft. Like, it's unbelievable how soft these are. It feels so nice on your face and it blends really well. Um, I noticed that my foundation just looked a lot smoother. I tried putting my foundation on with a sponge and I just, I didn't like it. So this I definitely um, would recommend if you use a liquid foundation. It is awesome for that. And the only thing it does, it kind of stains the little white bristles that are on the top there so if you can see there's a little bit of my foundation on there um even after I washed it but yeah it's the brushes are a little hefty but they're so densely packed like look at all those bristles in there there's just so many the next one is the angled top kabuki so it just looks like that again it's super 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 smooth um, this is good for if you just want a pop of color on, for blush on your cheek or it's actually good for getting right in there so you can contour. And again, it's super dense, super soft. I haven't actually tried contouring with it, but it'd be really, it's, since it's angled, it's really nice for just a sweep of blush just right over there. The third one is the Round Top Kabuki. Looks like this. As you can see, it's a little bit round compared to the flat top and this one's really good for just blending out right around your nose maybe under your eyes and you know just little areas that the flat one can't I guess reach into since your face is not a square but um yeah super soft super dense they're all like super duper dense so yeah and um you're going to have to wash these really, really well just because there are a lot of bristles in there. So your foundation or, you know, your powder will get trapped in there. So just make sure you kind of wash it and really get in there just to make sure everything comes out. And lastly, we have this one. It's um, another line of the Kabuki brushes. It's called the Precision, the Precision Round Brush. It's basically the mini version of the round kabuki brush so same shape it's just a lot smaller what I use this for is for getting my concealer right under my eyes and blending that out I mean you can use your finger as well but this is really nice to so just put it uh stipple it on there and then just blend it out and around the nose as well so those are really good for like little detail work and yeah so that's the um precision round brush they do have other precision brushes that resemble the rest of them so definitely um check out the website i'll have the link down below of where you can find these brushes overall i do love these brushes a lot um the only problem that i have with them is when you wash them since they're so densely packed it takes forever like absolutely forever for them to dry um one thing I will say is when you get them in the mail, each of them has like this plastic brush guard over them to kind of keep them in shape while in travel, which is completely fine. What um, I don't recommend you do is after you wash them, don't put the brush guard right back on them because from my experience, I kept it on just to keep the shape of the brush and I put it facing downward in a cup and two days later my brushes were still wet. So, my theory is that the plastic kept the moisture in the brush and it didn't allow it to dry and it didn't allow enough airflow to get inside. So, I wouldn't recommend leaving the plastic brush guard on when you go to dry them. Um, what I found works best is to lay them flat 
on a surface and just kind of let it hang off like that and I did that after the two days and I laid it flat like that over a tabletop and within a matter of a couple of hours they were completely dry and soft so I wish I had known that two days prior but <laughs> um whatever so yeah um love these brushes super duper soft really great for blending in your foundation um great for contouring and for blush good for a little detail work just to blend in maybe around your eyes and uh, places that the flat one can't reach and precision around awesome 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 for getting that concealer around your nose and under your eyes so yeah I highly recommend the Sigma Sigmax Sigmax collection <laughs> of brushes um, super awesome super affordable so I love that sorry about the honking outside I live in New York City um, yeah, just, they take a, quite a while to dry, so just let them lay flat with enough airflow and be patient. That's, that's all I can say, but, um, yeah, if you get the chance to, definitely order these brushes, check them out, and, yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.